congratulations uh, for checking out the film of American Fighter. Thank you. Always wanted to ask um, real boxers, is what do you guys think about watching these fight movies? Do you guys love them or do you guys like cringe at them? So these fight movies, fight movies basically, you know, the only things that change is actual, the actual fight. But all the story that most of the time you see on, the, on those movies is real story. Like my, my, my personal story is a, is a movie, you know, actually. I'm, I'm missing just the last piece. Then he's, uh, then he's uh, become world champion. And after this, you know, am I actually going to try to make a book and a movie with my story? But yes, I definitely, I definitely like the idea, you know, of this uh, fight movie. Yeah, definitely the, the, the fighting scenes in the movie, you know, you can't be too much of a critic because, you know, they're not going to have the same experience as with me and Giovanni. You know, we've been doing this for years and years. But they do a pretty good job. The technique is smart. You can tell that they have some type of coaching and some type of experience with the, the, the fight scenes. And they look real. And, and, you know, for me, I'm a, I'm a combat fan. So any type of fighting, I'll enjoy. So I, I think it was, uh, I, I don't think I mind it too much. I, I think it, it's good to get the general public to understand what fighting is for everybody, you know. What motivate you two to uh, keep on fighting? I mean, how, how do you keep your dedication? So uh, that's a very important question because, you know, it's a very important part of, uh, you know, an athlete career, you know, how you stay motivated. So me personally, I'm trying, you know, to change my life, you know, to have a better life, to make a future for the kids of my kids one day. So that's why I stay motivated. I work hard and I know that two plus two, it's four. So if I do my job on the right way, there is only one way, one way that I, that, you know, one place where I can get is, in, is the top. Yeah. And for me, you know, it's similar to the movie. Uh, basically, you know, he had that girlfriend. He didn't really fight for his girlfriend, but, you know, I fight for my girlfriend. I fight for my mother. I want to give my mom a, a better life. You know, I want to, you know, give my coach a better life. I, I come from Universal Boxing Gym. We've been there for like since I was 16 years old, 15 years straight, being with me, you know, being loyal to me, helping me. So those are the those are the guys I want to help. And I want to that's my motivation, my family, my coach, my supporters. I want to prove them right. Wow. You know, I used to be a fat kid. So it'd be a cool story to tell you the fat kid became world champion and, and did it and did it with hard work, you know. Excellent. And one last question to wrap things up is uh is is boxing for anyone you suggest? So boxing is for everybody. All you need is heart, your brain, you know, and that that's all. That's all it takes to become a fighter. You gotta understand that inside everybody there is a line. You gotta just wake him up. Boxing is everybody for everybody for sure. Yeah, like uh, the way I started boxing, I didn't really have self esteem. I was overweight, I was bullied, you know, and then I got into a boxing gym and I found something I love. It got something out of me and made me into a champion, you know. So boxing's for anybody. You just got to work hard and stay dedicated. Excellent. Hey, congratulations, gentlemen. I can't wait to see you guys fight. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Ready? How we doing, gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Moses. We want to welcome you to Platinum Hands Boxing Gym in Queens, New York. Uh, for the press day, we welcome you for American Fighter. We have two professional fighters, uh, undefeated fighters, and Giovanni Scudetti. And we also have Danny Gonzalez. And they're going to do a basic demonstration of what it entails to be a professional boxer, just like the movie did itself. So um, I'll leave the floor to the gentleman. Any questions you have, feel free to ask. And they'll uh, do a basic demo on what does it take to be a boxer. All right, guys. I'm going to start first. For, for being a professional, all it takes is your brain, your heart, and your focus. Because everything that we do here, you know, we do with our, you know, with our brain. We stay very focused, you know, and it's very important for us. Uh, you got to remember to stay, sac all you do is sacrifice, you know. Boxing is just a complete sacri sacrifice and you just got to stay training all year round and just stay dedicated Stay on the diet, stay on the lifestyle, and just, you know, 
work really hard. Yeah. People think in boxing is just this, just punching. Everything comes like 70% from your mind, right? Because the first thing, if you want to become a champion, you got to believe in yourself. This sport makes you a man, make you a stronger person. You're going to start to believe in yourself. And this doesn't happen just because you're pumping your muscle yeah, or yeah. because you learn how to fight. Because you really learn to know yourself better, believe in yourself, and know what you're capable of. Yeah, it's all about the mindset. You got the mindset to believe in yourself, the mindset to work hard, and the mindset to stay disciplined. Like, we can do an easy example. Box give chance to people that don't have nothing in life, to change their life, to make money, and to make a legacy, to provide for the family, for the kids of the kids. So boxing, you know, it's more than just a sport. It's a lifestyle. And for me, I used to be over like 200 pounds. So boxing got me in shape. You know, it's all about fitness, eating right. And then you can change your body. When you change your body, you change your spirit, you change everything. Me, believe it or not, I used to be very, very skinny. I'm still skinny. And I used to not believe in myself. I grew up in a tough place and boxing changed my life because it gave me the right mentality. It gave me a goal because I believe in life, something that can save a lot of young guys outside, you know, in the street is having a, 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 a path, you know? If you, don't, if you don't know where you're going, you can get lost in life and do bad things. So box, boxing give me, give me that. Yeah, boxing, boxing saved my life. You know, a lot of people used to bully me and stuff like that. So this gave me self-confidence. And then I was able to, you know, better my life and just feel confident and, and, and powerful, you know? So now let's let's start to, to talk about a little technique, right? So it's very important, you know, positioning. Uh, follow us in the ring. All right, I'm gonna step off the rope because I'm very tall. <laughs> so basically everything starts from your legs, right? Distance, your defense, your power, your punches. So, so now we're gonna we give you a little demonstration of the shadow boxing and everything else, and then later we're gonna explain a little technique. Yeah. So, so basically, the main thing you want to do before you even work out is kind of warm up, boosting your muscles. So maybe some jumping jacks, some shadow boxing. So for you guys that don't know that, it's a couple jumping jacks. Maybe switch from jumping jacks to basically shadow boxing so you can throw the jab right hand and then kind of move around loosen the body and then Gio's going to show you the technique all right so about technique if you if you're ready you want to step forward with your uh, left leg and be in a comfortable position almost like if you want to have power from the ground like if you want to push somebody right or you want to have 50 percent and 50 percent of your weight balance on both legs then you're gonna bring your right hand to the chin and you're gonna bring your left hand in front of you, right? Now from this position for the jab, you're gonna just rotate your hand and use your hips and your shoulders. For punch, you don't need to be strong. You gotta just use your body. It doesn't care if you're a small guy, a big guy, but just rotate, rotate. A good punch placed on the right way can hurt people, believe me, left. This is the right cross. I'm using my hip, I'm using my shoulder from here. I punch my left hand, defend, coming back in position. Then we got the hook from this position, always covering my face with the shoulder, right hook. And we got left uppercut. As you can see, I'm always using my whole body. Boom, right uppercut. All right, now we're gonna shadow box in a little bit so we, we can show you how it works, all right? So when we shadow box, always we use all the ring, right? Imagine to have an uh, imaginary opponent in front of you. Always make sure you keep your hands up. You always gotta think defense. The jam is very important. You got the trouble of making me fights. Oh. Usually warm up with the shadow boxing for maybe three minute rounds. Do about at least four or five. Definitely want to use a band maybe before you fight, before you start shadow boxing. 
this is real good to warm up the shoulders. So is this, like maybe three sets of 15 of each. Once you got the shoulders loose, you go back to the shadow boxing and then just continue that for a couple of rounds just to get warmed up before you hit the bag or spar. Warm up is very important because, you know, as an athlete, we do this every day and you, you don't want to get hurt. So you always want to be safe before you start any activity. It's also important, let me get a little closer so you can see this. Basically, you got to use some gauze. Basically, wrap your hands. So it's very important. The more important than anything is, you know, to, 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 to wrap the wrist and make sure the wrist is really good. You know, the knuckles ain't too important because you're going to have the boxing gloves on. But you definitely want to take the wrist very well. And it's also good to always have some tape to make it nice and sturdy so you don't hurt your hands, anything like that. Anything else you want to add here? No, absolutely. We got to always protect our tools, you know? So uh, wrap your hands every day. Like we, when we're training, you know, as a professional, we're going to have our coaches every day, you know, wrap our hands on the right way. So, uh, yes, it's very important. It's very important for us, you know, get to the gym, do a warm up, wrap our hands, you know. You got to protect then, what makes you the money. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we make money. Just like the movie, you know. He fought to get the money for his for his mom, you know. So we just trying to help our families and help ourselves become successful with, with, with fighting because we love it. Absolutely. All right. So now I guess we're gonna see Danny work on the parts. Gonna show a little technique for the coach. It's always important to wear boxing gloves. Because you want to protect the hands, you also want to protect your knuckles. Of course, never punch, you know. Yeah, never hit the back without nothing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Always got to take care of yourself. Doesn't make you tough at all. So we're all just right. going to display some basic stuff like the jab right hand, just like Gio showed you, but uh, a little more speed and a little more power so you can really kind of understand what's going on. We're going to work on the jab, double it, double jab. Double jab, one two one two. Double jab, double jab. Now for you guys out there that got your equipment, if you don't have anybody that can hold pass for you, you can simulate it on your own on the bag. But this is a basic uh, re um, regimen that we're doing. It's just to warm you up. Is always work off that off that left hand, which is a double jab, one two, one two, which is the right hand, left hand, one two, double jab, one two three. You turn out, step in with a double jab, double jab. Now, boxing ain't all about offense. We could also work on defense. So it's basic defense we work on. Touch, 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 bottom, 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 high touch, touch. Jab, off the block, off the block. One, two, off the block. One, two, off the block. Double jab, uppercuts, uppercuts, right hand. Basic shadow, basic pad work. Basic Always pad important work. to move your head. Always be a moving target. You never want to be just here. Always want to be moving. As you can see in some of the fights in the, some of the fights in the in the movie, a lot of the guys had their hands down doing this, which is good. But sometimes it's really important just to keep the hands up, and stay defensively smart. So now we're going to show, since Danny's a, is a, a, a junior welterweight fighter, which meaning he fights at 140, he's more compact, more on the inside. So his basic combinations will be a lot of body work, which is hooks, uppercuts, staying inside, pressing the fighter. So he's going to simulate pressure work on the heavy bag. And then I, after him, then I'll show you the different techniques on Giovanni, since he's tall heavyweight. So this is basically, get it in there, this is a heavy bag. So basically what I was doing on the pads, I'm going to do on the bag. It's the same concept, really just to build the endurance, build your upper body strength, and just get, get kind of used to fighting without actually fighting an opponent. So I'm just going to go through a little few seconds to show you. And that's all you got to really do. Keep working, think defense, stay smart. 
but keep working where you really throw your power, your speed, and kind of get your conditioning up so you have the stamina for the fight. Now we're gonna show you Geo. He's a little different. He's a tall, no. tall giant. No, but he's gonna show I'm you how the, to fight long. I'm the totally opposite fighter, right? So basically, with Giovanni, we're gonna work on his extensions, which is his jab, which is his money punch. He's gonna set everything up with his jab, and his right hand is the same combinations as any fighter, which is the one-two. But the jab is his money shot. Right. Steps in, steps in, step back a little. Step in, step in. And you can see his speed, speed, one, two, one, two, drop. Step back. Jab, jab, jab. So when I press Geo, what he's going to do is he's going to create his defense. If I'm coming in, he steps back, boom, drop shot. Now, he can also come on the inside as well because he's not just the outside fighter. If he presses you or you press him, He's got the skill set enough to, to bang on the inside, to bang. He's bending his legs. He's not showing his belly button. He's ready for, he's ready to drop, drop, drop. One, two, one, two. Defense, same defense, same concepts. I come out, long jab, long jab, long jab. One, two, one, two. Same concept, he's gonna work the bag and show you um, on the outside and on the inside as well. So when I hit the bag, I like to work on technique. This moment to work on your power, a moment to touch the bag. Good, now I want to show you the difference, and like I said, cruiserweight to a heavyweight. Cruiserweight is up to 200 pounds. Anything after 201 up is heavyweight. Now Giovanni has the uh, natural abilities that he can fight as cruiserweight or heavyweight. There's a lot of there's a misconception in heavyweight boxers that they're fat, sluggish, just dropping bombs. This is why this gentleman is an undefeated uh, pro heavyweight and cruiserweight slash fighter. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take off his shirt to show you his physique. And then I'll show you the same thing with Danny so you can see the difference in what type of fighters we have here in New York. Yeah. Take off his gloves. All right. Because you can't, because you're breathing. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Thank you, Danny. Now, I'm very curious to hear, guys, if you have any questions. And you can see it's all about teamwork. Yeah, both always. helping always. You gotta understand, I'm boxing. Boxing is not a it's not a single sport. It's a team sport. You have we're a lot really, of people that help you. We really learn from each other too. From boxing, like you can learn from the coach. But most of the time, it's the environment will make you a better fighter. You know, having him right, it's a different division. It's a you fight what, what division? Junior you welterweight. I fight a junior welterweight. Junior welterweight, right? 140 pounds. So you said, what well, you can learn from him? You're a cruiserweight. No, mm -hmm. so not. You can learn a lot of stuff from everybody. Yeah. Different technique, different punches. So you can learn from everybody. We both got two different fighting styles, but I learned from him. Remind me to always use that jab. And then, you know, I tell him to come inside and fight, you know, Keep sometimes get up, in there. You know, yeah. Sometimes you fight on the back leg. Sometimes you fight on the... The front leg, but you and, always switch it up. And remember, it's always, even if you don't want to be a fighter, but you want to just be in shape in your, in your life, right? It's very important. Hydration, nutrition, and sleep, recovery. That's very important because you can work very hard, but if you don't have the right routine, you don't going to have no gains. Uh, you know, diet is literally maybe 80, 90%. The workout is maybe 10. 
and then the rest is sleep. People don't realize you need to get seven to nine hours of sleep every day. No matter what your schedule is, you can fit it in. Get off Instagram and get some sleep. <laughs> so, my name is Giovanni Scuderi, aka Leonidas. Actually, I'm gonna fight this Saturday in South Carolina, Roy Kill, guys. So, you already know, guys, I'm gonna take care of business. And uh, my name is Danny El Gallo Gonzalez. You can find me on Instagram at Danny El Gallo. Uh, basically, I'm 20 and 2, WBC FECA champion and ABO Jaguar champion. Um, just rising, rising, trying to build up and, and looking for big fights this year. You gotta stay in shape. Follow, follow me on Instagram. Team Leonidas, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys.